stuff on the underground started like around here. This is just my ends. This is like a place we used to come and we used to hang out. And like, I don't know, all the girls used to come here. Over there, like Krispy Kremes. And um, like, a lot of people used to just go and steal the, um, the donuts from around the back. It's mad. But yeah, yeah, it kind of all started for me on the underground, like doing the normal stuff, the pirate radios, DVDs, and um, I did a freestyle over there, right over there. And it got a mad response, and kind of just from there, it kept just going and going and going. So, you know, it went from just freestyles to, you know, actually having a mixtape out. And um, my first mixtape um, was, first mixtape was simply the best, it was called. That's what first really got me on the map. That's when I realised it was a bit bit more than just being, you know, known in my ends or my area or whatever. And I just never looked back from there, boy. I know. A lot of my musical influences is all different. You know what I mean? Like it was never really a thing of like only liking one music. Like it was weird because my grand likes classical music, my mum likes God knows rock. Um, my dad likes reggae, my uncle likes jazz, you know what I mean? So I never really picked up one type of specific music that I liked, you get me? And where I used to play the piano, because um, my, gran, my, gran um, my gran had a piano from when I was a little baby. And um, obviously, being a baby, you get to play, you know, it's, it's like a big toy, isn't it? Like, big up John Isaacs, that was my piano teacher. And he took me up to um, grade five or six, and I, I, I was, classically trained, you know. But then I went a whole next way, you get me? And you know, obviously, you get a bit older and piano lessons ain't really that cool anymore and it's more about girls and money and other things, you know what I mean? So, started making music about other things. And that's the end of that. <laughs> I know. I think that People ask about like role models or inspirations. Like, I never really looked at anyone on the TV as um, someone to be like. The, the person that I always wanted to kind of be like, or that made me know about a lot of things I know about was my uncle. I've got an uncle. I won't tell you his name, but as long as I can remember, as long as I can think back, he's had the flyest whip. You know what I mean? And the nice clothes. You know, but. He's always been classy with it, you know what I mean? He's always been up on what's going on. And the craziest thing is, is he doesn't, he doesn't, he's not like some criminal, he's not um, like a sportsman or a musician or something, like a star of any sort. He's just a hard working man, you know? So for me, that, that, that was kind of like an inspiration, man, you know what I mean? I know. All that underground thing was live, man, you know? Built my name there. And then my sign to Geffen. Get me big ducks, which is good, man. And it's just like now it's like we got the roads are open. I can do whatever, like, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to take it, man. You know, I dream about making directing a film one day, but for now, I just settle with Staple House making the sickest music videos and documentaries, and we're just leaving it there at the moment. You get me? So I'm, I hear people calling me an entrepreneur nowadays, but to me, I, just, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a hustler. You know what I mean? Um, 
anything anything I could think of I can do. You know what I mean? I thought I thought I could make a music video and then I turned around and I made a production company, luckily due to the friends I had. I wanted to make clothes, I started making clothes, you know, um, and I wanted to make music and that's what I do, so anything I could think of I can make happen. That's that's just that's just my my ideas in life, you know what I mean? That's just how I feel about anything and everything. And that's the staple way of life. Staple. Ow.